Caltrans impacts everybody that travels, whether it's on the state highway system, walking the streets, or flying in the air. We have a role in every one of those transportation systems. We're looking for talent to help us achieve the vision of creating a brighter future for all in California. We love to have strategic thinkers and risk takers and folks that can effectively communicate, but we can teach a lot of that. Um, it's really important to have folks that have that passion and want to make a difference, want to, want to work to improve the environment, want to work to improve the transportation system. So we're looking for uh, professionals that have the ability to be creative problem solvers and have a commitment to teamwork. We want people that can work with other people, right? That they enjoy working together to go solve a problem and make good things happen. We are the second largest department in California state government. We have over 21,000 people that work for us and we have the fifth largest economy in the world. We at Caltrans help move that economy. We serve over 40 million people across the state and we have a team that represents that. That's important that not everybody looks the same and has the same background when we come in and make decisions that are going to ultimately affect our environment for years to come. We have people from all cultures and traditions. All these people, we all come together with a common goal to serve the people of California. Everything from biologists, uh, ecologists, archeologists, uh, environmental planners. Whether it's an engineer, whether it's a scientist, whether it's an environmental specialist, uh, we're always wanting somebody new to come in because there's always opportunities for these new ideas. We work with our planning professionals on, on developing a corridor project, what that's going to look like. And then, of course, we work very closely with design engineers so we can put that into the different alternatives and the purpose and need of an environmental document. Once that gets approved and goes to construction, once again, the environmental professionals are on site ensuring that those environmental commitments that are spelled out in an environmental document are upheld and protected. And then after the project's over with, we do mitigation. And our group ensures that that mitigation, whatever that is, if we're repairing a wetland or we've added additional trees or we've added different species to an area, that those species are, are thriving in that mitigation. So it really is a cradle to grave. And at, at the end of the day, environmental is always involved in project delivery. And that's where environmental helps us understand what's the why behind what we're doing, but more importantly, what do we need to do? How do we design for this and how do we proceed with you know, making that commitment and meeting that mitigation requirement. What are the biological impacts of what we're proposing? What does the public think about what we're proposing? What would the impacts be? We have a lot of stakeholders. It's our responsibility to hear the stakeholders and understand where they're coming from. An engineer may look at it like we're going straight through this town. Our environmental staff will come in and say, okay, you want to go through. Have you thought about other alternatives? How can we do this in a way that everyone around has the opportunity to have a voice and we leave this project in a, in a good place? But at the end of the day, a transportation project can actually benefit the environment. It could actually have a betterment for the environment. We introduce green street concepts so that stormwater can infiltrate. We included sound walls to ensure that we are addressing noise impacts. They've partnered with the private sector to create mitigation banks and, and where they get huge swaths of land and really transform them to make them really good habitats for the plants and the species that are out in those areas and really have done some incredible things for the environment, while at the same time facilitating the improvement of the transportation system. And you can come in into the department at any level. We have people who come into the department who are just finishing school, who are leaving college or grad school and coming into the department at entry level opportunities. Some people are coming in at mid-management and then we have executive level staff. Once you join Caltrans, you don't have to be settled in one area. Caltrans has great rotation programs. We have great mentors that are invested in the growth of our people. If you want to make a difference, come to Caltrans. The impacts of what you do, the types of work, the level of training, and the responsibility you'll be given will accelerate your growth in your career very, very quickly. And as you look to advance your career, you're gonna get that shot at Caltrans. Can you think of a better place to come and work? Not only do we build transportation infrastructure, but we build sustainability and equity in the workplace every single day. Whether your background is in biology or archeology span or environmental engineering, we have a home for you.